Good morning, guys. I have... <laughs> Good morning, guys. Welcome to another weekly vlog. I have the most irritating hiccups this morning. I've had them on and off for like two days now. It's really grating on me, but we're just gonna let it, let it be there because they are not going anywhere. They honestly, I had them for about two hours last night. I got through this this morning and suddenly got them about 20 minutes ago and now they're just really there, which is kind of annoying because I'm actually off to the dentist this morning and I'm a bit worried about how he's gonna do anything if I'm like jerking all the time because I've got hiccups. So I'm hoping they've got, gone, oh my God, I'm hoping they've gone by then. But this morning is very exciting because I'm actually off to get my final treatment plan from Invisalign. So if you have been following for a while you will know that i get invisalign for a timeline of events i first got invisalign okay no let's start from the very beginning but i also need to give an update because i've been asked a few times about what's happening with my invisalign and i finally have an act an actual solid update which is amazing because it's been a situation god when did i first go in i think i first went in in january to get them to do the molds and impressions and stuff and then i got my first aligners in february 2020 so pre-pandemic all these plans should have had it finished by may I'm meant to be going to disney in may so i was like great i'm gonna have perfect teeth for disney <sighs> every dentist had to shut down didn't it so so it became quite a situation and i basically ended up finishing finishing the first lockdown in july still on aligner maybe like seven or eight when i should have been long gone finished so fast forward to now I am still on the 14th aligner, which is the 14th week. The last time I went into my dentist was October. Ended up that everything was going all right, but I had one tooth here and one tooth on the other side that just weren't quite moving the way they should have been moving. Which if I go back in the vlogs now, I can kind of tell because like it used to cut my gum and it'd be really uncomfortable. Not the tooth, the like aligner obviously where it was poking out a bit. So went in in October wearing the 14th aligner so that should have been my last ever appointment to get everything off get the wire fitted get the markers off etc and we had a little discussion because I personally thought my teeth were okay like I thought that they were in a good place I was like oh okay like maybe this is the time to get them off like maybe it's all fine now and when I spoke to my dentist he was like look I don't know how you feel but I think personally we can make them a little bit straighter so if you want to then we can do that and we'll do another treatment plan so obviously when someone tells you oh maybe you can make them a bit straighter you kind of automatically are like maybe i could make them a bit straighter so we agreed on doing another treatment plan which he said would be probably at least the same amount of aligners as the last one just because that's ten apparently tends to be how they work so i ended up with another 14 aligners which is fine however since october I have not been able to get to the dentist because there's been so much back and forth like they've not given me a date or there's not been time to fit me in and all these different things so since october which is now like what november december january february march five months ago five months ago i've been wearing the same aligner for five months and finally today finally i am booked in and i'm picking up my next treatment plan which is so exciting fingers crossed hopefully i will be able to get in and be able to go consistently to be able to get my treatment plan finished and sorted by the end of 14 weeks hopefully so yeah that's exciting so i have another whole treatment plan which is why i've not done an update in a while because i d honestly didn't know what was happening but now i know what's happening i've got 14 more weeks which is basically gonna align my teeth better and i mean they're not bad like i still got the little thingies this one is the one that's not moving very well they i mean they're not they're not not straight they are a lot straighter than they were if you go back on my videos from like 2019 they look a lot different um but i'm very excited to get them fully straightened and like perfected time to get dressed really <laughs> i need to go in like 20 minutes i don't know why i'm still talking i also need to brush my teeth because i haven't done that yet You'd think it was the morning because I'm wearing this, but it's actually three o'clock. I've actually been out to shoot today as well, so it's been quite a full day, but I came home and got straight back in my PJs because I just wanted to be cosy. Invisalign update, because I don't think I vlogged anything after I talked about going. They've given me all 14 of my aligners now, which is really good. So it basically means that I don't have to worry about going back into the dentist or anything. Like I've just got my aligners now. I do it through to the end and my appointment is booked in for the 9th of June. 
So that is 14 weeks time, which is so mad because obviously that's like a week or two before we're allowed out of like full lockdown. So it's kind of like a countdown for both, but been to leave lockdown with perfect teeth. So that's okay. And they actually, I'm wearing them obviously all the time again now, but they look so much more like they're not there now, which I really like because before I think you could just see them quite a lot and these ones seem a lot smaller. I've had most of the markers taken off, so I've now got two on the top and bottom each side, and that's it. So it just it feels a lot better. I was going to say something, I forgot what I was going to say. I don't really know. I'm about to go out and do some DIY bits, which will be on my home account. I'll leave my home handle on the screen. But I've got a couple of bits that I started the other day, and I didn't get around to finishing because they didn't dry quick enough. So I've left them out on the balcony to sort, and then I'm going to go and finish them now. Make a cup of coffee, and just... Yeah, I also need to like do my washing up and stuff. I need to put, oh, I need to put my stuff on my shoot away. There's so much, like my office is just, I feel like I spend my life cleaning this office. It's just like, I have no words. It's just a bit of a mess in here. Like, there's just so much stuff. So I do need to sort this room out and put everything away again, which is my task for a bit later on today. I'm just trying to tackle bit by bit. My motivation for cleaning is currently this. Got home from shooting and my boyfriend bought me flowers. Hee <laughs> hee. Still looking like I've just got out of bed. We're currently making dinner and we're using the soybean spaghetti, which I actually put in an Aldi haul quite a while ago. We just never got around to using it, but it's got like, <laughs> I mean, it doesn't go out of date till like the end of 2022, but we thought we'd use it tonight and have a little spag bowl because I also had like a random bolognese sauce lying around. Not sure what it's gonna taste like, but we'll see. I'm also doing a spare one that I can have tomorrow for lunch or dinner because I'm here on my own tomorrow. So I can't be bothered, I'm just lazy. I can't be bothered to, I'm not, okay, I'm not, am I lazy or am I just, you kind of have to say no. <laughs> but um, I'm quite like, not lazy, but I find, especially at the moment, it's really hard to be motivated to do like anything. So it's nice when you just have food that's already cooked and it saves you buying a takeaway or eating something rubbish because it's quick. Because I'm prone to like cooking chicken nuggets or something because they're quicker than co rather than like cooking a whole meal. So spag bowl it is tonight with the soybean spaghetti, which I got from Aldi. How much was it? Like two quid? It was cheap, wasn't it? It was quite cheap. And we also got a black bean one. Yeah, yeah a black bean one. I'm actually going to do an Aldi grocery shop next week because I think I'm going to need to stock up on a few bits because... I'm trying to use up everything in my cupboard at the moment and I'm running low. Oh God, we're getting a bit steamy. I'm running low on quite a few things, like the sauces we're running low on, like chicken, veggies, etc. So I need to do a shop, but it's not too bad at the moment. Like I think I just need to meal plan and decide what I want and then I can shop for that. Good morning. <laughs> I look very questionable today because I just cannot be bothered to do my makeup or my hair. So I've basically left it in like the end of curl that it's got from yesterday and I've left my face free. I'm just having a very chilled day. And I'm actually, as you can probably see, not at my house. I'm actually at my boyfriend's today because he is my social bubble. So we're allowed to stay overnight at each other's houses. And sometimes it's nice to have a change of scenery and he is actually still working four days a week. So I've come here for a change and just to get stuff done because I find when I'm at his house, <laughs> I do get more done in terms of editing and stuff because I haven't got all the distraction where I do at mine. Because if I'm at mine, I can be like, oh, I'm gonna clean or I'm gonna sort my wardrobe out or oh, I'm just gonna do this or do that. And here I don't have those distractions. So I'm actually getting, well, okay. I say I'm getting on with editing. I'm totally not. I said I'd get on with editing. It is currently 10 to two and I've not even edited one video. I have planned my Instagram feed and edited some pictures. I've sorted out a few campaign bits. I've replied to all my DMs, which takes me ages. I've done like, I've done bits, so I have been working, but I've been doing like odd bits here and there. But anyway, the reason I started vlogging this morning is because A, I realised I've barely vlogged this week. I've done like two clips and I'm so sorry about that because it's currently Wednesday and I should have done more. But also because I, obviously I'm at my boyfriend's like I said, and he lives in a different area to me and his delivery is terrible compared to mine. So like mine is obviously London, so you can get all the really good stuff. His is like just outside of London. because I live on the outskirts. I'm in like zone four or five and he lives like just outside zone six. So we're about a 30 minute drive from each other. And um, his is normally like the typical like KFC, Subway, Indian takeaway, Chinese takeaway, like that kind of thing. And his is suddenly so good. Like his delivery was amazing. I just went on and there's like Coco de Mama, there's Pret, there's Nando's, there's all these things. And I was like, oh, 
I just need something like I could so make something let's be honest like I could make something or I could go to the shop down the road and get some food but I decided to get prep <laughs> of all the choices I had I chose prep so this is what I got annoyingly you can't choose decaf and make it um vegan on the website like you have to pick the options so on delivery it was like decaf like latte blah blah but they didn't give you the option for oat milk or anything so i actually ended up getting myself a matcha latte which has rice coconut milk never had it before but i thought i'd give it a try i also got myself some dark chocolate almonds which are a favorite i got myself a ginger shot this is like the hot shot one that's got turmeric and orange in it as well and then i got myself the meatless meatball wrap oh i'm so excited i'm so hungry oh, oh. I'm gonna eat this now. Why have I never got that vegan wrap before? Oh my, it's delicious. It's so good. It's like the perfect amount of like tomato-y goodness. Ah, I probably got it stuck in my like little marker things, but we move. I thought I would try the matcha next because I didn't want to like mix it because I find sometimes when you have a flavoured drink and food, it just tastes a bit odd together. Like I'm a firm, if I go to a restaurant, I mean, I have wine or I have water. I don't have like juice or coke or anything because I think it just sometimes like knocks the flavour and it tastes a bit odd together. So I thought I'd leave the matcha till afterwards. So I'm going to open it up and give it a try and tell you what I think because I've had matcha in the past and liked it, but I thought I would order this, see how I feel and then I can always like have matcha in the part in the past in the future and i think i might order some for my house because it's a really good substitute to coffee and it's also really good for you in so many ways so i'm gonna open it give it a try i mean it's not frothy in any means i thought it would be a frothy latte but it's just like milk it looks a bit like the green milk in disney it's just green oh it's really good how do i explain the flavor it's very like coconutty i think because of the milk but i always thought matcha was a bit powdery maybe because i've always made it myself and not done it well but it's really really good mm. it's really really good it's like quite nice and warming so like oh, i just it's very warming i really like it okay time to get back to editing morning guys i'm back home as you can probably tell and last night ended up being quite eventful there's like a few different things going on like offline that i'm not going to talk about but they kind of took up a lot of brain space last night along with binge watching nearly the entirety of behind her eyes which i really enjoyed but i found the ending a bit naff not gonna lie i don't know whether you were meant to clock it as quick as i did but i kind of clocked quite quickly what was happening and i don't know i i wasn't the biggest fan i really liked it at the beginning and then it just wasn't for me <laughs> but today is an exciting day because i'm finally getting around to doing my spring wardrobe clear out slash changeover situation so every season what i do is swap out my wardrobe so like spring summer autumn winter so I do it once a year and basically when i swap them over i go through everything in the bags and i work out what i want to keep what i want to try on again and what i want to get rid of so if things don't fit anymore or they're not my style anymore or anything like that normally i end up with about a 50 50 split this year i'm hoping that there's not as much because i'm really trying to refine my wardrobe especially since like i want to say like september time i really started to think about my wardrobe and what i wanted to keep so hopefully a lot of what's in the bags isn't going to be going there's going to be a lot that stays but it's a really good kind of indicator of what i like keeping and then i know what i'm getting rid of is stuff that i don't want to buy again kind of thing anyway that's a whole separate video i'll leave that there you can watch that when it goes up probably on wednesday but for now I thought I'd show you something very exciting that's come in the post, which is for a Zoom that I'm going to be on later today, which is this. So I'm doing a little Zoom masterclass later with Daniel Sandler for these little watercolour liquid cheek colours. And they've kindly gifted me three colours with some brushes in here and a little bag, which by the way, these little bags are so good for on planes. I've got a couple already and I always like... I always, always, always use these if I'm going on flights because they're the ones that you can keep in your hand luggage. Um, they've also given me two little drinks here. So we've got a hard seltzer, alcoholic sparkling water, white grape and elderflower. And then we've got a cranberry and rose hip. 
and then they've actually given me as well which is so lovely i'm so grateful this big simple human mirror which is like a like bronzy copper color how cool is this i love this so much i think it's really sick i've never had something like this so love it Cool, look at this. Oh yeah, that lighting. Love that. Exciting, I'm gonna quickly set up for the Zoom call and then get back to doing my bits because I don't wanna be late for the Zoom call but I also wanna carry on sorting my clear out. <laughs> okay, we're ready to go with the Zoom so I'm gonna go carry on with my cleaning. Got a temporary pause to the wardrobe sort out because I've actually got my Zoom call in literally like six minutes. So I'm gonna make myself a coffee and then crack on. I'm actually <laughs> using my new coffee mugs. I picked these up in Tesco. They're like a really nice soft pink, kind of similar to the throw on the back of the sofa. And they're just really gorgeous. I really like them and they match my other ones in shapes. So coffee time, Zoom call, back to the wardrobe sort out. The masterclass is over. I now have nicely bronzed cheeks. Let me show you in the light, because this light is insane. I mean, you probably can't really tell because the lighting's a bit crap in here, but it's like, we basically did a masterclass with the watercolor things. I'll leave a link down below, like a cheek tint kind of vibe. So I've got a blush, I've got a bronzer, and I've got a highlight, but I did very subtle because I didn't want to like go in too deep. I wanted to like build it up. Um, and I want to try them out like when I'm not, I, I just worry because I'm not the best at makeup. So I was like, oh my God, I don't want to be sat with the literal like the person who made this makeup and like mess up. So I did it really subtle, but I like it. Uh, parcel did actually just come as well from ASOS. So I thought I would quickly show you what I have from them because there's a few new bits. It will be in a haul video coming soon, but I thought I'd give you a quick sneak peek in the vlog because chances are, if you watch the vlog, you then won't need to, need to, you won't need to watch the ASOS haul, but also not everyone who watches my vlogs will watch my hauls or my hauls will watch my vlogs. So I'll give you a little a little look over what I've got here. Let me bring you a bit closer. My tripod's still in the other room, so I'm using a cup as a tripod, which is fine. Let's go with the big thing first. So this is the biggest thing I got, which I'm so excited about because it's such a beautiful colour. This is a like a really nice trench coat, which I thought would be amazing for like just general like going for a walk and stuff, because it's like really big and chunky and this is the worst angle, I apologise, but it's just really nice and kind of big and oversized, but not too big and oversized. And I also think where it's like a slightly linen material, it just feels really nice. Obviously all of this will be tried on at a later date. I'm just getting out the packages now to see what it looks like. <laughs> then we have this skirt, which is a little denim number with the two slits. I only have black skirts and I thought this would be a nice little transformation into spring, summer. It would look also great with a big chunky knit on, but likewise it would just look great with like a t-shirt or something in the summer with a big trench like that was kind of my vibe with it is putting like chunky boots a little cropped tee or like tucking a tee up into my bra skirt trench kind of vibe then we've got this bodysuit which is like the trend that everyone loves at the moment with the little under boob bit so i got this nice chocolate brown one which i thought was really cute because i don't really own a chocolate brown bodysuit or any kind of bodysuit like that so i thought it'd be a nice change because like i'm wearing one now but i just thought chocolate brown would be quite cute then we have this, which is like a smocked dungaree kind of vibe, which I'm obsessed with, I'm not gonna lie. I thought it was so cute. So it's literally just like a little tie shoulder with the little um, tie bits. And then it's a nice like oversized smock style jumpsuit, but super, super cute. It kind of looks like a dress. I can't really show you in the best way, but it's like really long and really cute, which I thought would be just great for like lounging around the house, but also for wearing with like a little t-shirt underneath or a bodysuit underneath and little trainers or by docks or whatever it is I decide to wear. And it just feels really big and slouchy, which I love. And then last but not least, I got this bag, which is obviously from ASOS again. These are all ASOS design, by the way. I will leave links in the description if you want anything and then you can kind of see it on. If I have done any kind of pictures or anything with them, I'll leave them here because I know it's easy to see when you can see it on a little cutaway, but I don't know if I will get around to it. But this is the bag, so it's a little baguette bag. 
with a kind of it's slightly like contrasting colour so you've got like a snake effect around here and then the creamy tone and then the snaky like darker bits on here as well on the little strap which you can change the strap so you could make it a crossbody if you really wanted to and put a different strap on but I really like it like this and it's just a cute little little bag it's nice it's almost like the summer version of my Borg one from Topshop which obviously is going to be going and tidying now because seasonally it's just not appropriate for right now but I love all of it I guess it's time now for me to go and finish tackling the wardrobe. I do need something to eat though, because I haven't eaten yet, so I might have one of my spag bowls that's left over from the other night. I'm so glad I did it. I'm so grateful to my past self sometimes when I like cook food and just leave it in the fridge. So it means I've got food at a later date. It's great for me. I might have spag bowl. And then tomorrow morning I'm having some of these sausages. Butternut and tomato sausages with a hint of basil, but they actually go off on the third, but I figured because they're all veggie they'll be fine. Um, good up, I spent one. You'll have to let me know what you think of the vlogs, guys, because I feel like we've been doing them for a while now. You guys seem to be liking them. I seem to be getting good comments and like lots of views and stuff, but I mean, I'm intrigued as to what you think of them, like what bits you're loving about my vlogs, what bits you don't like about my vlogs, like is there anything you change about them, etc. Like just all the kind of information that is just like positive feedback. I would really enjoy. I am trying to remember to start filming more because I know for a couple of weeks I did get quite bad at filming every single day but that is, oh, there's no way I'm filming right now, look how dark it is. It did get to a point where I was filming really well and then I've had a few things happen like personally that have just meant that I'm maybe not on my phone as much or just various bits and pieces that have happened so it's meant that I'm just kind of like taking a step back in being constantly like on my phone on my camera and you know when you just feel a bit crap and you don't really want to film like that's kind of in the vibe so I have tried to film as much as I can for you hopefully this week's made up for it because I feel like I filmed a lot this week and for now I think I might sit on the sofa and get some editing done put on Desperate Housewives because I'm watching that from the beginning I am so glad Disney Plus has got star because it means I've got Dis like Disney, I've got D Disney Housewives, I've got Desperate Housewives and there's also like loads of other series that I've always wanted to watch and haven't got around to. So there's Lost on there, um, there's Walking Dead on there, is Walking Dead on there? Maybe I'm wrong in that, I don't think Walking Dead is on there but Lost is on there and I really want to watch that. So various old school series. Very upset though because on um, the Disney adverts and stuff it said Grey's Anatomy was on there and it's not and I really want to watch it but I think it might maybe be on the American one for now and hasn't crossed over, I don't know. But I'm gonna wait for that to come out because I really wanna see that. <laughs> it's a little while later as you can probably tell. So I've done a workout, I've sat on my phone for a little bit and now I'm about to have a bath because I haven't had a bath in a few days, which is very unlike me. And I just decided I really wanna get in and soak the week off because it's just been a bit of a, a bit of a rubbish week in like personal life wise but work wise it's been amazing it's just been very like tough in other ways so i popped in at some epsom salt and some of this radox stuff which i got in b&m the other day this was one pound 79 i feel like it's never that cheap so i put that in i also put a couple of drops of the um an anti kelp <laughs> atlantic kelp anti-fatigue from ren which is a little bath oil and then I also popped in some of my Neroli, which is so good. I'll try and find the link to this if I can, because I've got it on Amazon. But it's really good. Neroli's like the anxiety sense, like you put some on your temples, and it's really good for anxiety. And I'm about to jump. <laughs> Imagine I actually did jump in the bath. Imagine I was just like, woo -hoo! straight in. But the bath bubbles up nicely. But the bath has bubbled up nicely. I've got my book ready to go, which I'm still going on the Dolly Alderton ghosts i'm not very far through it so i'm gonna have a little read tonight and just try and like literally just soak the week off because it's been a challenge but i'm gonna put a face mask on i'm just gonna i'm just gonna have an absolute pamper i feel like sometimes you just need it you need to sit in and you need to just soak and just just be you know do i put a multivitamin so this is a multivitamin sleeping mask from what's the company called i can't remember the name of the company vita masker Vita maskers, um, or do I go with Glam Glow Mud? I think I'm gonna go with the jelly sleeping one. Actually no, I'm gonna go Glam Glow, I haven't done Glam Glow in a while. But I haven't tried this yet. Oh I don't know, hard decision. Let's go Glam Glow, because Glam Glow I know is good and it's really good at like detoxing your skin. And then I've also got for afterwards, so this is the Glam Glow Super Mud Clearing Treatment. Really, really good, I really like it. And then I've got one of the Vita Masker Diamond Eyes, 
like masks so you put these under your eyes it's good for like de-puffing and stuff normally do use them in the morning but i figured i'd use it in the evening today and just get like get my makeup and stuff off sometimes i do sit in the bath with my makeup on and it's really bad because you just i feel like you shouldn't really do that because it's <laughs> you're literally soaking and your pores are opening and it's just makeup going into your pores so probably the best idea for makeup removal at the moment i'm using the elemis pro collagen cleansing balm which is unbelievable it did take me a while to try it when i first saw it online but i am a changed woman it's absolutely great i love it so much so i definitely recommend i will leave everything linked down below and i'll also leave my look fantastic code as well because i didn't add for them last week on instagram and the code is copper garden for 20 percent off should still be valid but i'm not 100 percent sure so I'll leave the link just in case, like in case you want to buy anything, because I have used it myself to buy some rapid lash because I needed some rapid lash, which is what normally makes my lashes look super, super long, but they're getting shorter. Um, and you can buy a lot on there. So yeah, bath time. Doing this massive clear out of this office and like my wardrobe stuff is just making me want to do the whole house. It's making me want to just blitz everything and just go through it all and just make it all look nicer. Very, very tempted now, let me tell you. Very, very tempted, but I'm gonna hold fire. I'm going to get this bit done first and then if I've got time I'm going to tackle another couple of places in the house because there is just stuff like I want to go through my underwear drawer, I want to go through like my sock drawer, I want to go through the living room cupboards, like bits like that and just get rid of stuff that I really don't need or want but this is obviously the most important task so 